I'm Matt Lampson, goalkeeper in Major League Soccer. At the age of 17, I was diagnosed with cancer. With the help of my doctors and my family, I was able to beat cancer and go on to live my dream of playing professional soccer. That's my story. Now I want to hear yours. Hey guys, I'm Matt. Really good to meet you. Tell me a little bit about you. What's your story? I had a very, very normal life. I'd wake up, go to school, soccer practice, and the next day, wake up, go to school, soccer practice. One day, during a game, that routine was broken. One of the girls from the other team stepped on my foot and I couldn't walk. So we went to a doctor, got an x-ray, and he said it's just soft tissue so you can rest and heal. So four weeks of resting and healing. And then I got stepped on again. So the same thing, x-ray, nothing wrong. Four weeks resting and healing. My foot was in pain 24-7. My coach was like, I don't like this. I want you to go to a orthopedic doctor. He took an x-ray and he was like, your bone is getting thinner, and so he sent us to an oncologist. She did a biopsy, and she was like, it looks like a cancerous tumor. And July 5th was the official diagnosis of Ewing sarcoma. I didn't know at this point that the last time I got stepped on was the last time I was going to play soccer until this was all over. What kind of relationship do you have with your doctors and nurses? From the beginning, they spoke to Bren about Bren, making sure that Bren is the one that's speaking for herself because ultimately she's going to be the best advocate for herself. They were all amazing. They handled my sassy attitude with sassy attitude back. They'll come in with their jokes, come in with Nerf guns, and when she didn't feel well, they knew right away when she didn't feel well because that uh, smart comment didn't come back as quickly. <laughs> Instead, it came out as anger. When I got chemo, I felt bad for them. <laughs> so, Bren, I know you're captain for FC Dallas for one game. Tell me a little bit about that. How'd that make you feel? That was like one of the funnest things I've ever done. They flew me out to Seattle for their playoff game. They've also wanted to show off the New Jersey. They let me do a little photo shoot with that. It's definitely been a highlight experience for sure. It's been a relationship. It hasn't just been a program or something that she got to mark off a bucket list. And they really did take it further than we could have ever dreamed. When you talk about soccer family, her soccer sisters have been there for us, but it opened up a whole other side of soccer family. Down to even the team, the guys have really accepted her like a little sister. You better win, or I'm not showing up to any more games. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I'm super excited about this one. This week on the drive to KCC, I'm talking to Maddie from Kansas City, and I'm finding out what it's like not only to beat cancer, but also to combine her passions of soccer and photography. 